What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm back with another Best Tweaks of the Week episode. Now, this week we have five separate tweaks that I'm going to be walking you guys through, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, the first tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called Centered. Now, this is a simple tweak that basically takes your control center from the bottom of your device, as you can see right here, it's not activating, and that's because it's actually in our notification center. So you get a new tab right up here at the top that says CC, and you can actually rename this to whatever you'd like. And what it does is put your control center right there in your notification center. It's a full screen control center, and it basically gives you everything that you had in your normal control center, except it's just going to be in your notification center. So everything is still in working condition. So you can see right here, if we just tap on toggles, then that's going to turn on and off. We can dim and undim the brightness, as well as airplay, airdrop, all that good stuff. So this is called Center, a simple tweak but it is going to allow you to put that control center right there in your notification center. Next up, we have a tweet called no passcode lockout. So if you're one of those people or if your friends are one of those people that takes somebody else's device and then types in the wrong passcode just to get that annoying waiting period before you can actually get into your phone again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, if you type in the wrong passcode a number of times, then you're going to get a five minute lockout. And then if you do it again, after that five minutes, then it's going to give you even a longer time and even a longer time after that. So if you're sick of that, if somebody does that to your phone, then you can download no passcode lockout and you can see that you can type in the wrong passcode as many times as you want and you're not going to get any type of error that's gonna make you wait before you can type in the passcode again. So that's all that this tweak does. It's basically just getting rid of that time limit lock on your device. Next up, we have a tweet called Messages Plus. So you can see right here, if we open up our settings and we tap on the Messages Plus, these are all just the toggles that you can turn on or off very easily right within the settings panel. So right up here at the top, you have auto load messages. So if you want to do that, then just go ahead and toggle that on right there. Right below that, you have I'm not typing. So if you toggle this on, it's basically not going to show that other person that you're typing to them. So usually you'd get that dot, dot, dot or ellipses showing that you were typing to them. Well, now it's not going to show them that you're typing. So you can toggle that on right here. You can also toggle on no search bar, no rotate. So it's not going to go into landscape mode or portrait mode, depending on which one you're in. And no separators. You can turn on a black keyboard, a blue keyboard, even send large attachments. So just to kind of give you one of the visual uh, tweaks that we have right here, let's go ahead and turn on the blue keyboard. And let's make sure to close out of our messages app just to make sure that it does enable right here. So we'll swipe back over here, open this up, and you can see that we have a blue keyboard. Now if we wanted to change that to the black keyboard, then we can do so just by toggling off the blue keyboard, and we're going to open this back up, and you can see now we have a black keyboard. So it's a very simple tweak. It gives you some useful tweaks pre-packaged into a single tweak. So if you want to check this out, it's free in Cydia. Next up, we have a tweak called Custom ID Touch Fail. So usually when you try to unlock your device with your fingerprint and it actually doesn't work or you use the wrong finger, then it's going to say try again. Well, now you can actually change that string of text to say whatever you want. So you can see right here, if I try to unlock my device with my pointer finger, which is not saved for Touch ID, you can see what that says. It just says, who the fuck are you? So basically you can change that to say whatever you want, just like that. So if we go over into our settings, and you can see if we touch on custom touch ID fail, then you can see that we have our failed text right here. So just make sure that you enable it and then you can type in whatever you want right there. And that's exactly what it's gonna say when you fail the touch ID. And saving the best for last, we have a tweak called Clex. Now this is a music tweak and you can see right here what it's going to allow you to do is swipe from the right or swipe from the left to open up different music panels that's going to allow you to manage your music. So if we swipe this over, you can see that we have the album art cover right here. We have No Better, Lord, the artist, and then right below that we have No Better Single. So this is the name of the album. So it gives you all that information that you need right there. And if you have anything or any other songs within that album, they're going to be listed right below here. So you can see right here that I have another, or actually this is a music video that's listed under this album. So you'll see that right there. So if you have an entire album, you're going to be able to see all those songs right here. So obviously you're also going to be able to play and pause 
that music right there. You can go to the next song, go to the previous song. Now, if we swipe this over again, and one thing to mention is it's not incredibly sensitive swiping over from the right and to the left to open up these panels as well as to close them. So keep that in mind if you're having any trouble like that. I, I also had that trouble, but you can see right here if we swipe over from the left, then you're gonna see all of your songs listed right here. So if we just wanted to play one of these, you can see we can tap on that. And then I'm just gonna hit the home button and then swipe this over to open it up and you can see that it starts playing this song. So pretty cool little tweak. You also have the ability to change the visual look of this. And before I do that, you also have another gesture that you can swipe over with two fingers from the left and that's going to open up Bose settings panel. So let's try that one more time and you can see both of the panels open up from the right and left. So now let's go into our settings here and we're just gonna scroll down here to Clex, open that up. Here's your configuration, so if you go into this, just make sure that it is enabled and you can restrict this from applications, from the lock screen, or only from Springboard. So you can just toggle that on right there. So if we go back, this is where you're gonna change your style. So you can change the blur. So we're gonna go to a dark blur we're going to change the tint color and we're going to change that to black right here and then we're going to change the font text color to white and then right down here you can also add an image which I haven't had any luck uh, with this actually working you can see that I tried to enable it and uh, none of the images were working so if that's something that you're looking forward to didn't work for me now right here you have some information also user guide but let's go ahead and check out exactly what this looks like now so let's go ahead and open up both of them and you can see that you have quite a few different options to change up what this looks like. I mean, there was a ton of different colors to choose from, but I actually think this dark look actually looks pretty good. But the main feature of this tweak is being able to manage that music right there from your springboard in a very visual way. So let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that like button to let me know. And if you wanna see more of my videos, then make sure you subscribe, that way you get updated every time that I upload a video. Alright guys, until next time, peace.